you questioning the existence of God because of what a priest did to you? Hey kids, let Uncle Petey fondle your brain! Watch Uncle Pete's playtime and you'll be safe from Al-Qaeda! Let's take a ride in the back of Uncle Petey's windowless fun van! Hey kids, Uncle Petey just had a drink, so let's drive to some knowledge! It's time for Uncle Petey's Playhouse, it's the place for fun and games! My name is Peter Politowski, and I was uh, the cultural phenomenon known as Uncle Petey. Hi, I'm Thomas Payne. I'm co-creator of Uncle Pete's Playtime, and Peter and I have known each other for a long time. We grew up together. When you look back at the time, when you, when you looked at all the children's shows that were airing at that time, everything going on on PBS, liberal. We had uh, Pee-wee's Playhouse, flaming liberal. We all know the, the market. We all grew up with Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, Sesame Street, all of that dribble. You know, all of this, uh, this left-wing Jewish propaganda. We don't need that. We have too much of that in our society, and, and we've gone to the extreme with that. So by all means, we need to right the ship and pull things back, literally, to the right. We were just shooting the shit one night at the bar and talking about exactly that fact, that there's not enough right-wing children's programming out there and we said well hey wh what can we do to fix that let's be the change we want to see in the world kids the government controls our lives when the horrible liberals are in charge they do things to take our freedoms away start with your toy guns sooner or later the liberal government is going to come and kill your mother and steal your toys that's why you have to start practicing now. I mean, other kids' shows are, are they're actually bad for children. They're, they're actually doing them a disservice, like, like sharing, right? Like the idea that somehow everything can be solved through sharing. Sharing is bad. In fact, sharing is just a mild form of communism. You see, some people have parents that are more fortunate than others. Some children have mommies and daddies that are less fortunate than your mommies and daddies. This means they have less toys than you do. If you share with these kids, they're likely to borrow your toys and not return them. Or, more likely, they'll get their unfortunateness all over your toys. You know, I was a little offended by the show at first, and I started writing letters to the station to let them know how I felt about it. And then I got a letter back stating that perhaps when I stopped menstruating or got my hormones under control, they'd be willing to date me. I learned a lot when I interned for The Apprentice. My boss was, uh, he was a sharp guy. He knew a lot. He taught me a lot. How many seasons? It, it, I, I don't even know if it ran for more than one season or not. I, I checked out once I started doing my show. I wanted to do a kid's show because I, I thought all the kid's shows were being done wrong. You know, I, want, I wanted to do it the right way. I have five sisters, and they all had kids of their own, <clears throat> and they're just raising them wrong. <laughs> Sometimes during playtime, boys and girls, things break. What do you do? Look to your left. Look to your right. Are there any grown-ups around? Good. Shh. Don't say anything. This brings us to today's new phrase. Plausible deniability. Remember, kids, if they can't pin it on you, then you're scot free And never rat out your friends. Cause rats die like dogs. See you next time! Look at the children's shows dotting our landscape now. You've got shows like Dora the Explorer. Dora and, and Diego coming across the borders of our airwaves to steal jobs from American children's television show. Even animated, no less. Animated, and they're coming across the border and taking our jobs. Some people are in this country illegally. We need to stop these people from sucking our country's resources dry. These people are causing a zombie apocalypse right now. We need 
to build a wall to stop these people from coming in the country or else they're going to eat your brains and shut down your government and turn the entire country into a nightmare of fajitas and sombreros. Hi, Chihuahua! You know why my show was different? Because I didn't talk down to children, right? I treated them like adults. I wasn't afraid to talk to them about any topic, like, like high finance. Hey kids, are you befuddled by that pesky downturn that the Nikkei takes on alternate fiscal cycles? A lot of times, Uncle Petey was criticized for being uh, anti-gay, anti-homosexual. And again, nothing could be further from the truth. I believe gays should have all the rights that straight people have. Like a gay guy should be able to marry a woman just like a straight guy can marry a woman. Kids, have you ever played with Legos? You ever notice how Legos have both sticky out parts and gooey in parts? You can't put two sticky out parts together. The Legos won't stick. This is proof that God hates gay marriage. First they want equal rights, then they want to get married. Next thing you know, they want to control all the messages on television, more so than they've already done. They're saying that it's okay to be gay in church. That's crazy. My God's not gay. Their God may be gay, but my God's not gay. Those are two fingers touching in that painting, not two dicks. Let's look at some equations. A mommy plus a daddy equals a marriage. A daddy plus a daddy equals an abomination before God plus some tasteful furnishings. A mommy plus another mommy equals body hair and a whiny music festival. I think in America, everybody has opportunity, right? You might have different opportunity depending upon who you are, but I don't think there's a kid out there that couldn't be successful in America, even if it's in the custodial arts. Hey, I know. We all have lunch money, don't we? Except for you, Bobby, because your mom works as a janitor. But you can play another game, like suck the lint off the carpet. We tried to grow the Uncle Petey brand in a lot of different ways. Uh, for a while, we had a, a Uncle Pete's summer camp for kids, which was great. We taught them, you know, how to, uh, we taught them teamwork. We taught them how to march together and, uh, you know, how to start fires how to light fires. Sometimes we would have uh, a Halloween night. It was Halloween in July. And uh, so everyone dressed up as a ghost. Oh, the, the most fun was we had Robert E. Lee night. It, the summer, the camp only lasted one summer. I just as soon forget about it. I can't really forget about it now because every time I move to a new place, I, uh, I have to pass out these court mandated flyers. People have been saying this show's racist since even before it before we went into production, when they when they saw the first treatment, they said, you can't put that on the air, that's racist. How about Ching Kue? Ching Kue might have a hard time seeing us through his slanty little eyes and Coke bottle glasses. Uh, no. <laughs> Our organization did not endorse this show. Want to know what makes Taco Bell meat so cheap? Brain. What do Mexicans lack that makes them appreciate Oompa Mariachi Caterwauling? Brain. We don't think we're better than anybody else because of the color of our skin. If you look at the last census, how many white people are in this country? How many? How many? Millions. Just yeah, yeah, good. I don't know the number, but I know that it's high. And I know that it's more than any other number on that graph. If you looked at any other kid's show, you would think that as soon as you step out onto the sidewalk, that there's like a rainbow of people walking down the street. These are the people in our neighborhood where you meet all of, you meet the Latinos, you, you meet the black people and the white people and everybody's smiling and happy and the black kid's not stealing anything from the fruit stand. That's not real life. Let's start a lemonade stand. Step one. Don't do the work yourself. That's what business is all about. Finding other people to do the work for you. But which people? Hmm. There have to be some kids out there that look like they need jobs. You know, find the kids that look like they spend a lot of time in the sun. Like their parents didn't love them enough to make them use sunscreen. These kids are ripe for low wage employment. Did I ever go too far with the character? No. 
No, never. Hey kids, meet my new friend! Hey kids! His name is Obama! What? And Obama is an what? Alabama po! What the? Whoa! What, what is this? Man? No, just go with it, man. Just go with it? This Ob is nothing that we talked about. Yeah, but it's for the kids. Oh, fuck kids, kids, man! I got to whoop your ass, man! What the hell? I swear I better never see that motherfucker again. If I ever see Uncle Pete's ass again, I'm stomping his fucking face out. So yes, uh, Uncle Petey has got a lot of what you might think would be negative reviews. But, I mean, the, these are obviously paid, paid protesters by the Democratic Party. I'm a registered Republican. The way I've handled the criticism ever since we took the airwaves, and even before my entire life, I've always handled criticism this way. Anybody says something bad about me, anybody says something bad about my company, my product, the show, I just, I, I look up their, their address and I send them a letter with my photo attached with a giant fuck you on the front. Because I don't care what people say. In the end, in the end, I know that I'm right. I know that we're right. I know that this show is right. So anybody criticizing this show, they're going to be the ones on Judgment Day that are burning in hell. People suggest that maybe some of my personal problems uh found their way into some of the later shows, but I don't think the kids noticed. Uh, Uncle Pete's a little sad today because after the show yesterday, Uncle Pete went home to find his common law wife playing a form of hide and go seek with the contractor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kids, that brings us to today's word, irony. Uh, it's a tough word to explain, kids. You know what? Let's just move on. Uh, how about we... How about we name words that start with B? Uh... Banana! Betrayal! Bitch! Body stump! Bastard! No jury in the world would convict me! I don't think you can go through a divorce and not be a little bit bitter. But again, I don't think it, it, it didn't, it didn't find its way into the show in a way that the kids would, could tell. I'm not gonna lie to you kids. It doesn't get any better. It, it, it only gets worse from here. What, what you got going on right now, this is as good as it's ever gonna be. It's, then you're gonna die. Well, I believe the show was canceled because of the homosexual agenda. I don't think people are ready right now for Uncle Pete to come back, but they may be at some point in the future. I am always willing to revive Uncle Petey. The thing I'm most proud of about Uncle Pete's playtime and what we've done is we've brought truth to television. Kids need more truth. Everybody's lying to them all day long. Lie, their parents lie to them. Yes, I love your mommy. They, they, they don't need to hear more lies. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute. The office of President of the United States. The office of President of the United States.